Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use JavaScript in React, uh, in React render method. Use advanced JavaScript in React render method. In previous challenges you learned how to inject JavaScript code into JSX using curly braces. For tasks like accessing props, passing props, accessing state, inserting comments into your code, and most recently, styling your components. These are all common use cases to put JavaScript in JSX, but they aren't the only way to you can utilize JavaScript code in your React components. You can also write JavaScript directly in your render methods before the re return statement without inserting it inside of the curly braces. This is because it is not yet within the JSX code. When you want to use a variable later in JSX code inside the return statement, you place the variable name inside the curly braces. In the code provided, the render method has an array that contains 20 phrases to represent the answer found in the classic 1980s magic eight ball toy game. So it's like a black ball that you shake it up and then it has, and then you look underneath it and it gives you an answer to questions. Um, the button click event is bound to the ask method. So, so each time the button is clicked, a random number will be generated and stored as the random index in state. On line 52, okay, so I'm going to expand this out really well so that we can see what's going on with this code because I think the hardest part about this one is just understanding what they want you to do. So basically, let's go over the first thing. Uh, this constant input style, this is just telling us that this input box is 253 pixels wide and 5 pixels tall. If we made it 50 pixels tall, it would make uh, the margin really huge. And then if we were to make this, you know... 100% uh, it would just stretch across the whole page. So that's all that this code does. It sets the style for the input um, It sets the input style and then we just have look it's just one Component this is just one huge component called magic 8-ball and so the magic 8-ball has a constructor and it, Within the constructor we set state where we set a user input and a random index and then we say this dot ask so we're binding ask to the component this dot handle change, so we're bind binding handle change to the component. Okay, so the ask function says if uh, this dot state dot user input. So if user input has something there, then we set the uh, we set a random index to the user input to the random index, and we set the user input to blank. So we reset the user input, and we apply a random number between uh, you know zero and twenty, or, or a t random number times 20, and then we uh, take that to the floor. So it's just a random number between 0 and 19. And then we have a handle change uh, method that we've been using this whole time. So we say this dot set state user input is equal to ev tar event target dot value. So this would be whatever people type into here um, on sh the handle change just shows that makes that the user input. And so then we have our render method. And now this is the difference between here and some of the last ones. Inside the render method, we have a constant called possible answers. And this is an array of strings that gives us the um, feedback that the old eight balls did. Um, and then we set a constant equal to the answer, but we need to change this. And then we have what our return value, which is what we're accustomed to. With uh, And so we know that within here, we're going to have a single... Uh, div element which is going to be our JSX element and so they're showing in here they've got a line break right after our input our input takes in text the value is set to this the state of the user input on change we handle the change which we know updates the state so that when we type into here the state of the component actually gets updated right away and then we have the style which is the input style so the input style is here, and so we've uh, extracted that to do inline styling for components. And then our button has an on click, and then we say whenever we click, it's going to say this dot ask, which means it's going to run um, this function, which is going to set the state in which we set a random index and we um, make our user input uh, blank. So we clear our user index. When we click this button, we clear, and then we set the uh, random index. And so what we want to do is make it so when we set the random index, this will the state will update, and we want to change this here. So we need to find, we want to use the possible answers, and then if we were to go possible answers at position 0, it's going to feed us back, it is certain. At position 1, it is decidedly so. And so what we want to do is say our answers at a position, which is randomly our random index set from the state. So we say 
this because we're saying this component and then we're going to say dot state so we're saying this the component state and then we're going to say random index dot random index and this will get us a random answer you'll see the answer is actually not um, it's sort of it's not highlighted right now because it's not actually being used and so what we want to do is so that's what we did on line 52 we delete the string change me and reassign the answer constant so we've just reassigned the answer constant to your code randomly access different index of the possible answers array finally we want to insert the answer within answer const within the p tags so these are the p tags here and within here we want to put the answer here so we have to put it in brackets because that's how JSX works and now we could ask a question do you like useful programmer dot org ask the magic eight ball it is certain oh great okay so it seems to be working I'm gonna just get rid of these and um, run the test see what happens cool that's the right one so we've got that um, when I first did it, I initially tried to just come up with a random number. The key is to make sure we use the state. So I did like a math up floor. I was like, okay, cool. I'm just going to go let random number equal math dot floor dot. And then we're going to make that times math dot random um, times possible answers dot length. And this was my random number. And then I just ass assigned random index number to this and I don't even know if that works no it doesn't so it's key it's important to use the uh, the state because the reason that you have to use the state is because when the useful when somebody uh, updates it here the the state changes and that's how you get the answer and if you just do a random number within here it doesn't work so everything with react is about accessing the state and being reactive to the state um, so yeah, thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you in the next lesson.